now that we've learned how to create blocks, let's go and look at the design center and see how we can pilfer them out of other drawings. Um, the idea of this is that you would create a library file of block images so that you would have, for example, um, if we've got a house here and we're doing the space layout for this house, maybe you've got a, a file that's just got all doors in it or you've got a file that's got all chairs in it. And from that file, you can then remove various blocks from that from that file and put them into your drawing. So that's really what we're going to be looking at doing at doing here. And you can see here that I'm in the view tab of my uh, my panel here, and I'm going to click on this button here, which is Design Center. So if I click on that Design Center, it brings up our Design Center here, and you can see on the left hand side we've got a fairly sort of bog standard uh, Windows browser and within that I've got a whole set of different files so under my design center I've got some pre-made uh, files which are useful and I can click and have a look at each one but more importantly than that I can open them up you see this is an actual drawing file and I can look inside each file so I can look at the dimension styles or the layers or the layouts, or the line types, or the multi-leaders. And more importantly, I can look at the blocks. So this is where things start to become a little bit more interesting because you can see that we've got our drawing here. And I may well have, uh, I'm just gonna leave this floating actually. I may well decide, well, we've got the, uh, the dining set, we've got a, a bed, perhaps one of these rooms is going to be a bedroom. Uh, so maybe what I can do is I can click on bed queen, so there's my queen size bed, and I can drag and I can drop that into my drawing. Now, once I've got that in there, I can see, well, that's actually quite a big bed. So maybe what I want to do is to select it, and from my home tab, I'll go to rotate, and I'll rotate it from this midpoint, Maybe I'll rotate that around by about 90 degrees. And then from there, I can look at how I'm going to position this. So we'll go from there and we'll come down a little way. There we go. So I'll press escape to deselect that. And really, in essence, let's minimize this off. That's how you use Design Center. Yep, so I've got my bed there. Maybe I want to put one or two extra items in. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Um, we've got a grand piano, that looks rather fun. So we'll take the grand piano and we'll drag and we'll drop that into our drawing. And let's have a look at what other things we've got here. We've got a house designer. I wonder what blocks they've got. Oh, well, within the house designer, uh, we've got a door fancy. Very nice. Um, maybe I've got uh, a bathtub. So I'll drag and drop my bathtub into the drawing and I can replace this at any point, put it wherever I want to. Uh, I've got some toilet elevations here. That's useful, so we'll drag that in somewhere as well. Uh, and I've probably got a window here as well, so I'll drag and drop that into my drawing. And when I'm done, you see, I can now take my bath and I'll put that I don't know, maybe here. I'm not really much of a space planner, I'm afraid. So maybe the toilet can then go in there. Oh, that's a little bit close. We'll take that and run him along there. And we'll press escape to deselect everything. Maybe my window. It depends on how big this is. Maybe this might need scaling this window. In fact, I'm fairly sure it will do. Um, but I can place that there. You can see the, the, the principle of it. And of course, the baby grand piano, we can put that just a little bit closer to the window there. So in essence, that's my design center. And it's very, very useful because it means that obviously what I can have is a folder full of all these drawings. And each one of these drawings can have its individual name. So we've got electrical power, fasteners metric, fasteners, fasteners US, I'm assuming that's imperial. Uh, we've got landscaping as well, so I could look at maybe some of the blocks we've got in there. So maybe on the outside of my house, I would like to have just a tree of clumps. Or there we go, 
Oh, now, do make sure when you do that that you actually drop it onto your drawing and not off your drawing. There we go. So, maybe from my house, I've got just about there. I'll rotate it from here. There we go. So you'll, you can see here how easy it is once you've got your sort of your basic outline of your drawing and your basic outline of, in this case, the house, if you've got sort of certain elements that are reusable content, how easy it is just to drag and drop those out of the design center and into your drawing. And of course, if you're working within a team and perhaps you've got a, a legacy of drawings which haven't been done in this way, it also becomes very easy for you to drag and drop out of various different drawings and create your own library, even if one doesn't exist. So the Design Center is very, very useful. It's very, very capable. Um, we can check here as well. We've got open drawings in there. And again, I can look at the blocks that are in my own open drawing that I've got. Um, there's a few more in there because I've deleted them from other, other sections. We've even got a history of files that have been opened. It's absolutely brilliant, very, very easy to use. A lot of the, the features we've got up here are all standard Windows features, so they don't really need explaining. But the essence here is that you can look into drawings and see the blocks, see the dimension styles, see the layers, without ever having to open the drawing. And you can drag and drop it from the drawing, wherever that is, might be on the network, and you can drag and drop it into your current drawing and start to create library files that way.